What is up everybody? Chris at Team Aquascape. The gang and I have an incredible project today. We are in beautiful Oak Park, Illinois. We are standing in the backyard of what is already a beautiful residence, but we are working with some very talented people out there today. And we are going to be doing a medium ecosystem pond with a subtle waterfall, cantilevered patio over the top. We have all the bells and whistles today, guys. Do you see these women behind me? These are the landscape architects that brought us in on the project. I'll introduce them to you here in a second, but I gotta go meet the guys because they are waiting on me to unload the equipment. We're in tight spaces today, so we're going to have a few logistical challenges, but we cannot wait to get this pond started. Let's go! So the boys just showed up. We've got our 303, our trusty girl right there. We've got our dingo, and then of course we've got Moose from Illinois Brick. Ah! We have some beautiful weathered limestone and moss rock on the project. We've got a total of seven and a half tons of boulders and then another ton and a half of cobbles as well as a super sack of gravel. So we have eight total skids for this project, which is way more than we need based on the size of the pond. But we also knew that we were working with some very talented landscape architects and we wanted to make sure that we weren't slaves to the selection of stone. So I went ahead and overordered, knowing that we were gonna be taking a lot of this stuff back, anything that we didn't need, but we just wanted to make sure that we had the selection so that we could be creative as we could be with this project. You can also see we've got a couple pallets over here of wall stone. We're gonna build a wall inside the pond using this Unilock wall stone and that will have a patio cantilevered out over. It'll all make a lot more sense when it's not so noisy and I can get right on site and show you exactly where all this material is going to be implemented. So really, really excited about this project. You guys are doing a fantastic job. Cannot wait, cannot wait to get this one rocking and rolling. So here's our access. You can see we're working everything down through the alleyway. We got the small fleet behind us of Corey and Jack. This is that beautiful home right here. In the back, you see Moose. Unloading all the stone right where it's at. So we've got three more pallets of stone. And this is our access in through here. So we've got a wood chip base down on top of this beautiful, mature oak tree. This is an essential ingredient into protecting the overall health of this big, mature oak tree, protecting the root mass. They have very sensitive root structures. So we just wanna make sure that we're taking every precaution necessary to protect that beautiful oak tree and the overall aesthetic being provided from the landscape, their current existing mature landscape. So really, really excited. We've got kind of an amoebic shape laid out over here. You can kind of see it. It'll make a lot more sense once we get the grass out of here but we have to strip all this grass out we're gonna haul all that stuff away and then we'll repaint it back out but we've got an ecosystem pond here where I am standing is about the center of a flagstone I believe it's a flagstone patio but some kind of patio element that is going to be cantilevering out over the brick wall that will go inside of the pond inside of the liner right here and that will support this patio so we need to make sure to check elevations we've got skimmer box over here waterfalls over there and then just a really beautiful weathered limestone moss rock combination for a pond so really really excited we've got a lot of work cut out for us today but we are going to try and get this whole thing done in one day one day folks so pray for us we've got a lot to do but I think we can do it with the amount of people that we have especially as talented and seasoned as we are as a group or as a unit and we are going to get this thing and totally crush it today mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got the conceptual design of the pond happening. We've got Karen, tell us who you are out there. Hi, I'm Karen Heller. I work with DYLA Design Associates, and we're excited to be launching a new pond today in Oak Park in a beautiful residence, and we look forward to seeing how the process evolves. Karen, you've been in the industry. You are a longtime veteran. You're a landscape architect. We've got the beautiful landscape plan. I looked at it. It looks fantastic, and I, definitely a lot of thought and heart went into it. Do you mind just kind of giving us a walkthrough of your vision and how we can help right. you kind of pull that off? Is that cool? That would be great. Right. Um, yeah, that's not a very large yard, but we are offering a lot of variety, cool. including an irregular pond, which will have some beautiful weathered rock surrounding it. We're going, we're going to have adjacent to the pond, a flagstone terrace so people can sit and look over the pond and can even dangle their feet in the pond. Cool. 
and because the owners are also big veggie gardeners, we're going to include some raised box. That's awesome. And those are going to be sitting back over, you know, within very close proximity to the pond. I just love kind of the designated spaces that you've had. Clearly listen to what the homeowners were looking for. And looking at the plant, it looks like you're delivering. You've got a gathering space out here. You've got the veggie garden space. We've got the soothing sounds of the water. And then the all the terrestrial plants tying together is just incredible. So Yes, well, thank you. We're looking forward to seeing the finished product. And we also should show off this beautiful existing burr oak tree yep. that really provides this wonderful can mature canopy over the whole site and just makes it feel rooted in a woods. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's something about a wooded setting too, or at least something with mature trees that really lends itself to a water feature. We've hinted at it in a couple of our videos, but it just makes it feel like it's always been there, right? That's true. It gives you some context and, and scale. Yeah. And so we're Fantastic. And it's, I am impressed by the well-oiled machine that is taking over. <laughs> so. Well, we've we've done a few of these um, over the years, as well as you've done quite a few landscapes in your days. So we're excited to have this relationship. It's just so important that, you know, as water feature artists, we stay connected to the green industries through people like Karen. You know, it's a very, very mutually beneficial relationship, and uh, especially to partner with such talented people. Oh, so thank you. we're going to get going. Now, you take that. All I'm right. going to take these guys. So what we're doing right now is we are going to go ahead and start stripping the grass out everything inside this orange line you can see a bunch of white paint on the ground as well this is the conceptual stuff once i get the grass stripped out i'm going to repaint it out for you guys so you really have a good understanding of what's happening and then we'll get right back to you but until then this thing's going to do some work Things are moving very, very quickly out here in Oak Park. We're building our berm. We do have to set a little bit of a retaining wall back in here, but we are going ahead and we're gonna dig this whole pond down two feet in order to have everything at the same level. And then we'll probably dig another six inch deep section at the very bottom, just to help with the clean out, but then also to make it a little bit deeper. So the reason we're going two feet is I wanna be able to build that wall two feet of water depth. So the wall itself will probably be about 30 inches. Humidity's starting to ramp up. You can see Luis has one little bead of sweat on his forehead, or maybe two. But this is the trench right here that we're going to be laying that brick retaining wall inside the pond in. We over excavated. We went about three to four inches deeper than the bottom course to give ourselves plenty of room for base material. We've got Dan and Kobe finishing up the three foot section of pond right there. We're gonna build a little fish cave. We over excavated a lot of this stuff just because it's such a tight space and with the size of the rock, we didn't want to continue to bring that liner back and forth, back and forth. So we are getting very, very close to getting the fabric and liner in. Jack is over there kind of leveling off the skimmer. We've got that set to the appropriate depth. The berm is now built. That's gonna be the height of the berm over there. We'll sink our biofalls in somewhere right over there. After we have fabric and liner in, we're gonna start throwing rocks in. I think the first two rocks we're gonna go with are gonna be these two flat flanking stones on either side of the brick wall and then that will give a couple of the guys the opportunity to go ahead and start banging out that wall while we continue to lay the rest of the stone. I think once we do that we'll get our bottom waterfall stone set and then kind of piece everything in between. So we are in great shape. Corey left to go empty the truck because I think we're going to take a few boulders home with us. So I wanted to make sure that we had room for that. So that's the only person we're missing but with one truck I think that was a smart move because it's such a tight space. We've got a lot of bodies here and we are cruising. All right, so we are underway. We got Jack and Kobe kind of working on this brick wall down here. It looks like Jack almost has the entire bottom course set, which is the most important course. We started to rock in the pond area. We've got probably, gosh, I don't know, maybe six more rocks for the pond. We're gonna get the big frame rock in next, kind of where Dan's at. That thing will kind of set our bottom waterfalls. The rock that Corey was just in front of is going to have a bunch of gravel back behind it. And then I'm gonna get a flat slab back in here. So that'll be an entirely huge plant pocket right there and it'll be a great place to have some aquatics inside the liner but to bring I guess just bring that touch of green into all the rocks so Corey's gonna start finishing up that bottom layer kind of piecing together these small little avalanches you can see we've got our rocks layered up around the skimmer we still have another big one to set over there but I might wait until we get this waterfall rock in here first to see what we have left not like we're getting short on stone we're actually gonna have leftovers but I want to make sure that we are picking the right rock 
rocks to the right positions, which is another reason why we over order and like to have that, that selection. So we're moving along. It's coming together. It's getting hot. So you guys in YouTube land, just know it's like hotter than a sauna. It's hot. Hey Jack, what just happened? I don't Jack. know. Can you tell the foam gun in the, in the foam can? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to trim it off, dude. They're cold, they're cold team. <laughs> Is it everywhere? No. Yeah. Imagine if it went in your eyebrows. Oh You'd have to shave your eyebrows off. little progress update. Pond is 99% rocked. We're gonna start rinsing it down. Dan and I are gonna work up into the waterfalls. We've got only about a 15, 18 inch waterfall. So we're gonna do an overlap. The rock right there is about four inches above water. So we're gonna need to get something a little bit taller back behind that as well as a frame rock. And we're just gonna do a Babbley Brook style waterfall even using this weathered limestone and moss rock. So I think one of the fun things about this job is you know two waterfalls are the same, no two ponds are ever the same. This is definitely a small pond with a lot of large rock which makes it look very impressive in a, such a small space so I think that's what's really neat about this project we've got another couple hours to kind of button things up once we get this next stone set we're gonna go ahead and set the biofalls make the connection with our overlap and we are about home free we're gonna start loading up some of the extra stuff extra brick all that stuff that we have left over but it just looks fantastic and I'm super super excited I'm exhausted because it's about 90% humidity you can see Corey's getting a little bit of color yep. a little bit yeah. still bad just a little bit I always burn. Dan's still as white as ever is good and then jack jack just looks like a q-tip dipped in dirt and then we got the gun show over here the new guy jonathan should run off look at that do that again okay so all of you boys and girls out there that are single we'll be sure to put jonathan's phone number and email address in the comment section below so you guys can all get a hold of him you're single right jonathan yep see all right you're about not to be so congratulations Whoa, well, there we are. Now, are we in focus? There we are. Well, it has been, it's been a long day. So it's about eight o'clock at night. The guys were just wrapping up. You see the lights are on. Oh, there it is. I can't show you. We wrapped up. We had a long day. It was a very exciting day. It was a fun day for the second project outside for us. Second, maybe third, I can't remember. But for the first kind of pond, we we're all kind of working together with a brick wall inside the pond, moss rock weathered limestone. It really came together quite nicely. Can't express how proud I am of the team that I have and how they really gutted it out today and worked hard. We work like dogs, but we work like rabbit dogs. I don't even know what to say. Hey, it has been a fun day, but an exhausting one. I don't want to actually show you the finished product because I want to wait until Karen and the gang at Dresher's Landscape come in and do their thing so you guys can get the full feels what is actually going to take place out here. But all I can tell you right now is stay tuned because the pond looks absolutely incredible, especially at night with the lights on. Can't wait. We're going to get to plant it up tomorrow. The next time you see us, we'll be back here and the pond will be done. And so will the landscape. Okay. 